Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. Uh, we just died fi fighting Saren at the 30 minute mark of the last episode, so... You should have joined Sovereign when you had the chance. We're gonna try it again here. God damn it. Okay, so he hit me with something that made my gun overheat, so this is what we're gonna do. We're going to take cover until whatever effect he did to us stops. In the meantime, though, see if I can't hit him with some of my special abilities. Okay. So we definitely want to be hitting him with this with our pistol. So, where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. Come on, you're almost done. Almost done. Good lord. Got him. We did it. Ouch. Finish the job. Come on, let's finish the job. Run, Forrest, run. Control panel. Activate the control panel. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. trying to save the council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Save the council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the council appreciates this. They better. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Sure he's dead. Well, that's a good call. Very good call. What's up, buddy? He 
he's dead. Hopefully. Oh, come on. Really? Shields are back. Okay, good. Okay, that means we can heal up as soon as we get our ability. And we did it. Awesome. Not on the brink. He's almost gone. Throw some grenades. For good, please. I 
That's it. That's it. He's dead. He has to be dead. That's it. Oh, come on. Come on. Just... The shields are down. Now's our chance. Get it with everything we got. Safe now. Where's the commander? Do we die? There's no way we died. Really? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Honestly, Captain we need Anderson. Someone with the courage obviously. to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? <laughs> you must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, 
I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. How, though? Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. But how, though? I don't get it. Oh well. We stopped the... won the battle but didn't win the war, I guess is the whole point of that. Which is why there's two other games. Because I thought the, the, the Reapers were stuck in dark space or whatever the hell that is, but I guess that's it. So, um... Awesome. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what else to say other than it's been a wonderful series. It's the first game I think we've actually finished completely on this channel. So, hopefully we are able to get to Mass Effect 2. Uh, I'll have to download it maybe this afternoon or sometime this weekend, but uh, yeah. We'll jump right into that right after this, I guess. Uh, or maybe on the next episode. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, credits roll on out here. Uh, I can't tab out of this game without uh, it getting minimized. And so you're going to have to see me sit here and see me just goof off since we beat it. Woo! I think I'm going to get something to drink after that. excited about the uh, gameplay upgrades that they possibly would have made. I have no idea. I've never seen any of Mass Effect 2 or 3, so I'm excited to see what they do on the next uh, on the next game. So I'll have to go ahead and start making the new thumbnail today and for Mass Effect 2, and then I'll have to go ahead and start uh, prepping some time, setting some time aside to record, because I know that gets a little interesting. I, I think some of the saves from the previous games carry over, kind of like on the Witcher, the Witcher games, I believe. Or no, it's Dragon Age that does that. So, hopefully. And I, I think uh, Mass Effect 2 actually has more damage than this. I'm not sure. Yeah, 
time, but this was a hell of a game. Despite its technical flaws, it was story-wise a very good game. I guess I wouldn't blame you guys if you ducked out now, but definitely if you want to stick with me throughout the credits, it's fun. I, I appreciate it, but if not, go ahead and skip to the next video where we start an aspect of the video. And please leave a like, drop a post in comments down below on how you always like this, my channel or this series or uh, an aspect series or anything else, other things that you come up. Throw it down in the comments below and we'll maybe possibly cover it. Going to town? Okay. Okay. I'm almost, I'm practically done here. Just letting the credits roll out. See ya. Especially since I can't go to OBS and just close it out. But I want to let the credits roll out. Give a pop a beer open because this was a hell of a game. The, whoever, the developers of this did a fine job. Especially despite all the technical stuff. But that was, at the time, this was a pretty epic game. Yeah, Bioware did a good job. Pretty damn good job. Bioware special thanks. And I believe... A special thanks to our families and friends whose patience and support helped us reach for the stars. Pretty awesome. logo and EA of course 
course. All right, and I believe that's it. And I think, I guess this will just take us back to the main menu. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I'll catch y'all on the next uh, on the next game. Uh, I look forward to it. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with me through this. And uh, I'll be playing Mass Effect 2 for the first time uh, either today or tomorrow. But we'll definitely bring that series up on this channel for sure. Catch you on the next episode, everybody, or on the next series. <laughs> thank you all. Love you guys. Later. Like and subscribe, all that good jazz. Later. <laughs> Love it.